Blake, I have to tell you something. Great. I am getting married. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that kinda hurt. I'm not kidding. Are you sure? Yes, he proposed to me. <laughs> what? Tabby, we both know that's a lie. Okay, all right, I give up. You can't even get married if you don't even have a boyfriend. Shots fired. Funny joke, huh? Are you gonna leave me hanging? Blake. What? I know what you did the other day. You know what? I know that you snuck the cake off the counter. He always likes to get me in trouble, so I thought it was my turn. Stop. Oh, you don't want to talk about it? What? Did you do it? Yes, okay. Honesty is key. Are you going to tell me? Actually, I might tell Dad. Okay, you snuck out of the house last night and didn't come back until early in the morning. Gosh, dang it. Oh, you don't want to talk about it? Okay, I won't tell Dad if you won't tell Dad. Okay. And also, you have to get me skittled. I went on a date with another famous TikToker. Someone you guys know. He took me to the movies. This was the first time I've ever met this man. We had some small talk in the ticket line. So the movie starts playing, and I still know nothing about this guy other than the fact that he dances on TikTok. We're sitting there, he puts his hand on my thigh. Like, okay, you're literally a stranger. Then this man started to move his hand in this motion between my legs. I don't know if he's used to talking to fishy girls, but like... Then he leans in. He says. Oh, there are rumors on TikTok, but it's 10 inches. We love some confidence. But I didn't want to be the one to tell him that he was measuring in centimeters and not inches. <laughs> in the movie, the girl screamed, tightened his grip on my thigh, and said, I could make you scream like that. What? I text my dad for him to come get me. He was not going to share this story, but this man just Venmoed me $3,000 and captioned it, don't tell anyone about our hookup. Uh, what? Sir, if you don't want me to drop your name, I'm going to need an extra 5000 I am very bored. And my siblings just got home. What better way to spend my evening than messing with them? I am going to start with my sister. Maddie! Come here real quick. Okay, I'm going to show you a TikTok trend really quick. Stand right over here. Right here. Am I going to be in it? Yes. What? What are you looking at? Okay. Like right here, actually. Okay. It's not a TikTok trend, I just made it up. <laughs> I'm Who's next? I'm I don't think that she really enjoyed me doing that. That we Stop flashing your sister. You have nothing to flash. Okay? <laughs> Dad! Why? No, this time. <laughs> Why? So I'm currently going to pick my little sister up from school because someone just got herself in trouble. Backstory. The other day, my little sister was asking me for some advice. She's like, Tabby, if someone were to punch me at school, what should I do? Jokingly, I said, well, shoot, knock them out. I didn't think she was going to take it literal. Hi. Not funny. Okay, can you tell us about what happened today? Today in class, a guy passed me, and I felt him grab my butt. And? And I grabbed his butt. Who said that if someone does it to me, I can do it back to The them. problem here was it was his backpack that touched him. <laughs> Why would you he do that? He didn't actually grab my butt, but I took his I grabbed the whole hand. <laughs> Stop playing with my hair and listen. I think I'm gonna run away. Okay. You're not worried about me? Do you have juice boxes and food? Yeah. Then you're fine. You're not gonna miss me? Wait! Oh, Lord. Are you trying to get me to run away with you? No. I have school stuff. Since when do you care about school? Since I found out my teacher was smoking. Smoking hot or smoking? Never mind. Go to school. Actually, I'm going to go see her now. Why do you look like that? And by the way, I got forgot some shoes. You need shoes for school! What is wrong with him? Seriously, I need shoes. Take me back home, please. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing my brother a video of what birth looks like. He's already gonna learn it in school, so why not? All right, Blake, so I'm gonna show you this video and you're going to watch it. What's this? Uh, it's a video of childbirth. What's childbirth? Push play. Ew, is that an alien? What is that? It's not an alien. What is it? She's having a baby. I didn't tell you had to look at it that close. That's literally how you were born. You came out of mom like that. That's exact. Stop playing games. Get up. Blake. Blake! Wait, wait, Alex. I have a TikTok idea. Okay, wait. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> look, it says witch, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay. 
just like my parents. <laughs> Um, okay, so Calvin, uh, Calvin really likes this girl and he really needs help. So today I decided to be a homie and help a, a boy out. He's so bad at this. Watch this. Okay, Calvin, pretend I'm a girl at a party. Girl. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. Okay, Calvin, I'm hitting on you. I'm a girl. Oh my god. Um, so a couple months ago, I was hanging out with a group of friends and I'm new to LA, so I'm just now meeting everybody, right? So this group of influencers that I was with was like, hey, like you're about to meet Nikita Dragon. Like you, like you need to know who she is. Like she's important in the space. They made sure I knew who Nikita was. Like at this point, I'm internally dying and I'm so nervous to meet her. I walk into this room and her and all of her glory walks in and she puts her hand out. I put my hand out and I say, hi, I'm Nikita. I said, hi, I'm Nikita. Doing this trend except for I'm using my own sentence. Tabitha, I don't think this is gonna work out. Tabitha, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> Tabitha, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> Tabitha, I don't think this is gonna work out. <laughs> okay, so I'm home for the holidays and I was picking out outfits to wear so that we could all go out to dinner. Anyways, my dad says that I can't wear this. This is the outfit I'm wearing and I look at what he's wearing. Ask me about my Dad, you can't wear that. You look like a smurf. I'm not changing my outfit. He's not changing his butthole shirt. So if I change my elf on the shelf shirt, you'll take the butthole shirt off? Yeah. I'm not changing. I'm not changing either. We're going to a nice dinner. POV, you try getting out of the car by yourself, but the guy you're with is a gentleman. No, no, you're fine. Yeah, it did break. It actually no. did just break. I'm so Focus, sorry. This is my favorite hair clip. Oh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I ruined oh. You don't want to kiss me? No, I go inside. Listen, I am not the type of girl who ever exposes other influencers, but today it has to be done. Literally, look at this. Recording you. Don't fucking post it, you piece of fuck. <laughs> um, hey guys, so I haven't done a talking video in a while because I decided I wanted to shut my mouth because I'm annoying. So I'm gonna do you all a favor and shut my mouth today as well. But I'm going to the nail salon, I'm getting rid of my Hailey Bieber nails, and getting something new. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You can't even see. Right, they're so cool. I can't justify how cool these look because the lighting's bad. Okay, so I think these are the fa my favorite nails that I've ever done in my entire life. But look. <laughs> look how cool they are. They're so cool. My face is so red, so we're just going to ignore that. But are you kidding? <laughs> ah! so, my so my friend texted me at 3 a.m. And he was like, hey, can you be ready at 3.30 a.m. if I come to your apartment and pick you up? So it's 3.30 a.m. I lied, it's actually 3.45 a.m. And he was like, wear something casual and comfortable. Now there's a lot of reasons why I could be, why he, Frank. Now there's quite a few reasons on why he could need me. My first guess is that we could potentially be robbing a bank. So I wore all black attire. We could be going to the beach to see like sunrise or something. But who knows? All I know is that it's 3.30 in the morning and I am ready. Stay tuned to figure out why my guy best friend texted me at 3.30 a.m. in the morning because he wanted me to be ready so that whenever he picked me up, I'd be ready till he's down at 4.15. Sketchy, maybe. All I know is that he's going. if he's going down, I'm going down with him, so wish me luck. Ah! I'm not robbing a bank. I'm in a hot air balloon. Okay, so my little brother doesn't know I'm in my hometown, and so my little sister and I are going to surprise him. And for those of you who don't know, I moved to California, and I'm, I'm visiting my home in Missouri. Woohoo! Okay, we're putting this here, and I'm hiding in the back. Let's go make room. Oh, shut up. Hide. Okay. Just kidding, I'm hiding on this side. Okay, he's coming here. Hey. Hmm? Hey. Why are you acting weird? I just want to ask you about your love life. How's your love life? Blake! <laughs> Blake. Uh, oh. Blake? <laughs> Stop! Don't play Blake. around! Wake up! Blake! 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 Wake up! 
You did not pass out. Blake. Two hours until Alex proposes. He has no idea, so watch this. Are you excited? I'm so excited. One hour. Oh! Um, in like 30 seconds. Yeah, probably. And he's throwing one back. Score. The videographer and photographer are getting prepared. Look, not very discreet, but like. Are you there? <laughs> of course. Yeah. She said yes! <laughs> the ring. Oh. So my dad paid for my sister to get her nails done. Anyways, I made that video of me saying, oh guys, go get the tab of the nail. And they're literally just brown with chrome. <laughs> my sister went to go get her nails done brown with chrome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're freaking smurf nails. I was like, so where's the, where's the brown? He's like, oh, we don't have dark brown. You just said you had dark brown. And gray. That's not brown. Continues to paint my nail gray. Ignored me completely. No, but after I get done, he's like, oh, do you like them? He's like, yeah. I don't know why they don't look like the ones in the video. Me, me neither. He's like, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know why you're so mad. They look fine. Stop. Stop. I'm not that type of girl. This is just, this is not me. I don't like blue. I don't like sparkles. This is not me. I wanted brown and chrome. Um, today we're going to be doing the try not to cringe challenge. Starting with me. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. So right now I'm waking up in a bed even though I actually woke up in another bed with Michael. I'm putting up my hair because I'm about to jump in the shower. Wow, I'm ready to jump in the shower. And I'm putting on my clothes, basic white tee and brown pants because cargo pants are my favorite and I'm gonna walk out and get ready for my I switched to blue pants because they're even better. And here comes Michael, he's gonna Bam! Slam me on the bed, drag me out of the room, and, and, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. Now I'm doing my makeup, even though that should have already been done because we were late, but, uh, I'm gonna say, oh, bless you! Oh, uh, okay, it's a transition, and look at my face, and I'm pretty, and there's this cool beam right here. Where, where are you going? Oh, uh, my purse, look at my purse, and I'm showing my hips because I am sexy. Here I am playing with the dog because I'm trying to get Michael Ooh. up and tell him to get, we have to go to breakfast, and I just <laughs> ate shit. Now, we're in the car, and... Uh, we're smiling and uh, she's uh, he's happy and we're gonna go what the fuck uh, um, we're going to this breakfast place on the corner and special guest Cover look at Cover wow so cool and look at these croissants and and Alex and our mer drinks and I was gonna cheers and then she was gonna cheers and I pulled uh, uh, he pulled away and mm, my drink is good so I want him to try it and what he thought was Ugh! Uh, hey guys, here's the story time you guys have been waiting for, the fight. I'm just gonna clarify a couple of things and just really clear the air. I know that there was a lot of rumors and a lot of miscommunication. We'll start with the story of what happened. Well, Hype House went to dinner with my parents. We went to this little restaurant in this really quiet part of town. And throughout the night, there was this girl who was being like a little obnoxious. She's probably in her like mid 40s. So she's grown. So we finished dinner and on our way out, we passed this group of adults. And they just started to make comments about us. They knew who we were. They knew that we were a part of Hype House. They were just like making hate comments but like in person no big deal who cares so we walk away from the situation so we go to the parking lot and this grown woman follows us outside as we're getting in the car this woman starts throwing fruit and food at us not a big deal it's just food then she goes back into the restaurant and comes back out and starts throwing rocks at us so then thomas is just like yo what thomas goes into the restaurant and he's just confronting her and confronting this girl's boyfriend mia then follows thomas into the restaurant as a girlfriend should and i follow mia into the restaurant so thomas is dealing with this grown man right and this grown grown woman starts getting super aggressive towards Mia. I don't know why my instinct was to put myself in between them, but it was. So I stood in between Mia and this girl. So she starts screaming at me and she's just like, I'm going to beat your ass, kid. And she kept referring to me as kid. And she starts talking about social media and my social media platform and how I don't deserve it. And I'm thinking to myself, like, she's calling me a kid. Why, if she thinks I'm a kid, why is she trying to fight me? It's whatever. doesn't matter. So then this girl's boyfriend walks up. 
and he starts getting super aggressive towards Mia. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, a man isn't gonna lay his hands on me. I'll also put myself in between Mia and this guy. So I'm standing there, I'm just like, bro, like lay off, like what the heck? The manager of the restaurant is trying to restrict the grown woman because she's she's so drunk and she's so intoxicated and so crazy, she doesn't know what she's doing. And I'm talking to the boyfriend, I'm just like, leave us alone. And this woman reaches around the manager, grabs my hair and pulls my head into the table. All chaos breaks loose, everyone's screaming. And then she takes my head and slams it into the concrete. This woman is two times as strong and my size. I don't stand a chance. So I hit my head two times. I'm on the ground and the boyfriend climbs on top of me and starts choking me. It wasn't scary until a grown man's hands were around my throat. And I'm trying to tell him that I can't breathe and to let go, but I can't talk. Then Thomas runs, gets in the fight, takes the man, throws the man completely off of me. And then they started fighting. So there was an actual fight between them, which is that's Thomas' story to tell. He can tell you guys that. I'm still on the ground. This woman has a death grip on me. So this crazy woman goes to kick me. And at the same time, a girl from the crowd comes up, grabs me, dodges the kick, and instead the girl got kicked herself and she landed on the fire pit. A stranger took a hit from me and cradled me while I lay on the ground. It wasn't a fight, it was more of an attack. The rest will be on my Instagram story. Um, hey guys, and welcome to a new series called Tap the Goes on Dates Until She Falls in Love. On today's roster, we got an influencer boy in LA. It was super last minute, so I'm getting ready in my car. I'm gonna really go above and beyond with my hair. Nice. No, it just broke. What is this? I purposefully did not wash my hair last night because I knew I was gonna put my hair up in a clip. I can't go on a date like this. What if I tie it back with a sock? Wait, it's not bad. See, I'm gonna do my makeup now. And you guys don't care about my routine, so I'll see you guys in five. Check it, I'm done. Loki, I feel like I'm missing something. It's not giving, but it'll have to do. He has to love me for me. I got coffee. Mm. Two Ella, low gas. <laughs> oh look, it stopped. Okay, to LA we go. Backseat of my car. Okay, I arrived and he's driving. Let's go. Guys, he opened the door. Sushi. <laughs> no! What the frick? No bueno. I just got home. So everything went good. Dinner, great. His outfit, stunning. His face, beautiful. Personality, mwah. But here's the problem. He kept calling me Hallie the whole time. Who is Hallie? Not me. I was like, oh, my name's Tabitha. Tabitha. And there he is ordering sushi and he goes, oh, I don't know what I want yet. Hey, Hallie, what are you? I'm sorry, not Hallie. I'm Hall ah! I was like, I'm Tabitha. Tabitha, nice to meet you. I was like, freak, that's hard to say. Call me Tab. Tabby. Call me babe. Just kidding. Then we're eating sushi and he goes, Hallie, I mean, three times. I leave the restaurant and get in his car. He takes me back to my car, hugs me to say goodbye, and lo and behold, calls me Hallie again. I hate him. Oh, look at this. He said, hi, just wanted to give you a quick rating, which is weird because I've never gotten that after a date. Rate, 9 out of 10. Almost 10, but I like girls with brown eyes more, but your eyes are okay. Aww. Date, for sure. Only because you're short. Would I recommend you to a friend? Yeah, for sure. I don't I don't really know what that one means. Did he just give me a Yelp review? Uh, and then he says, have a good day. Babe, he called me babe. Okay, so I'm going to start out by saying trigger warning because I'm going to be talking about an ED. Some of you guys know, some of you guys don't know, but since I was 13 years old, I've struggled with bulimia. Past almost 10 years, my ED has been like a very private thing. I mean, I always felt like very insecure or just embarrassed at the fact that I had such a poor relationship with food. And actually, nobody knew about my ED until I joined Hype House. And it was the first time that I felt comfortable talking to people about something I struggled with. I have struggled for almost 10 years and 10 years of having an ED really takes a toll on your body so now that I'm 22 years old I'm kind of dealing with a lot of the consequences of having one what I'm saying is it's like it's really not a secret anymore for example my my dentist was like hey do you struggle with this because like we can tell because of like the acid on like the back of your teeth or like your teeth are eroding stomach problems and hormonal problem my dermatologist asked me if I struggled with one so now all of the little things that I kept a secret about having an, an ED are now like surfacing and like you can kind of sort of tell from like the outside Okay, keep taking breaks, sorry. So I was 18 years old whenever I felt comfortable going to the doctor and talking to a doctor about having an eating disorder for the first time. I went into the doctor and I explained like all my symptoms and the things that I'm struggling with and he told me that I was overweight for my height and my age and then he recommended that I change my diet and work out more. So then I went on this entire rabbit hole of college of just like eating a significant amount less and working out a lot and creating an entire new unhealthy relationship with food and this really bad addiction of just working out at that point i just felt really out of control so then about six months ago whenever i got out to california i told a doctor that this is something i was struggling with and they recommended weight loss pills 
And on top of those weight loss pills, I started to lose hair. Uh, I started to get really bad acne. Once again, I developed an unhealthy relationship with food. So I have a girlfriend who recommended that I go to this other doctor. And I've just had the worst luck in the entire world with doctors, so I've had little to no hope. So I went to a doctor today, and she did all of these tests and stuff. And she figured out why I have mood swing problems and a food problem and an ED and why my insulin levels are so high. I figured out all of this stuff, explained it all to me, wrote it down on paper. Then she diagnosed me and prescribed me two medications and sent me on my way. And now I'm in my car and I'm crying like a baby because all I'm thinking of is 13 year old me and how I used to miss out on people's birthday parties because I was afraid of eating cake and how I wouldn't go out with friends in college because I was afraid of eating out. And here I am 22 years old and it took almost 10 years to figure all of that out. I wish I could go back and hug my little self and tell my little self that it was all gonna work out. Um, anyways, I decided to bring my journey online because I tell you guys everything. So this is the beginning of my recovery if you struggle with something similar we're gonna get through it listen i don't have very many bad days i really don't but today is a bad day so i'm addicted to getting my ears pierced i have all of these and i had all of these and i've always gone to a lady in thousand oaks and she's always done an incredible job now i'm also very very impulsive so if i'm in a situation where i need to get it done i'll just get it done right then and there with that being said, I went to a new lady. This lady had 3.1 stars. I looked at the reviews. There wasn't too many reviews. I was like, you know what? Who cares? I've never had a problem getting my ears pierced or anything ever before. So I go in and she's already kind of sort of being weird. Start checking out and she asked me this weird question. She's like, hey, by the way, like if you have a TikTok or something, like we can um, like offer you like a big discount. And then she's like, oh, or if you do like social media. And I was like, oh, no, I don't. No, thank you. And I'm not kidding. Her entire attitude did a, a flip. Like she was so mad. Like I just didn't want to make a TikTok video on the spot about me getting a piercing. And I felt like if I said no, that's like respectable so then lady confiscates my phone and like all my stuff and tells me to like put it in this like little box because i'm not allowed to record whenever i go in there i'm like okay whatever then i walk into this room and already i'm like what is she doing i have 15 piercings i've watched this be done 15 times and she was just being like things just seemed so unclean so she put on gloves she walked out she touched the door handle she left she touched like crap in the front office and then came back and was gonna use the same gloves and i'm already like oh great and normally another thing whenever you get a piercing or a new tattoo it's normally like an experience so you're normally calming the client down making sure they're comfortable i'm not kidding i sat on the chair this lady walks in and just like pierces my ear takes it out and uses the same freaking needle to pierce my second like hole there was no like oh are you sure you want it here are you sure you want this or are you comfortable did that hurt everything's gonna be fine <gasps> not only that when she pierced my second earring and this is gonna be graphic and if you don't like it swipe off right now but instead of going through she went in like instead of the needle going out to the other side of my ear it went through and like hit the other metal that was going through this side of my ear does that make sense I almost threw up with the same needle. She takes it out, puts my piercings in, takes off her gloves, says nothing, throws it in the trash and walks out. I'm like, you know what? Who cares? No big deal. Someone's having a bad day. So I leave, pay for it. By the way, it was so expensive, way more expensive than any other place I've ever been to. And I don't even know why it was expensive. It wasn't even good. And already that night, my ear started to feel so like weird. And it got so, so swollen that I got a temperature. Like I was getting sick. Like it was so weird. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take this one out. So I took the top one out by myself. Then a keloid started to form on an earring that I already had had in the past. And I was was like you know that's weird i don't know why this one's getting swollen now then i remembered oh the the needle went through and like struck all of the bottom ones that i had so they're all like flaming up so anyways they all start to get swollen mind you in just this ear i have 11 piercings i flew all the way to missouri to see my family and my dad looks at it and he's like oh my gosh like dude, they have to come out right now so i just laid on the bathroom counter and my dad cut out cut out all of my piercings I would show you the back of my earring, but it is so gross and so gruesome.